What's poppin' pickles? We're here with, uh, Paper Lily, Chapter 1, final episode. I, I guarantee it's the final episode. You'll know. But, um, last time we left off the episode, uh, we're at the facility. That's what it's called on, like, the walkthrough. I mean, I haven't watched a walkthrough. I mean, whatever. Um, and then we got captured, and then we ate a bird. Well, we were forced to eat a bird. It was either that or murder people, so... Yeah. Anyways. I don't think I'm allowed to crouch. We're just going around this place. Bookshelf, housing hundreds of books. Actually, you know what? One of them stands out. I don't think you should be testing on her anymore. Her powers hold potential. I wish to entertain this idea a little longer. She's incapable of any sort of coherent thought. We're just wasting souls on her. Hold on. It's... It's tradition. To... It is tradition... To adjust the volume every single episode. You have to... You just have to open there. Pile of books taller than you. Okay, so either we're gonna have to run away from people, or... I haven't seen any hiding spots yet. Pile of books. Okay. This person likes to read. One of them stands out. Yeah. Like reading. I don't know why I decided to talk to you. Maybe it's because you look really pitiful. You're so worthless and no matter what tests they put you through, you fail them all. If I had just left you alone that day, you wouldn't be wasting all of our time. You wouldn't be wasting your own time here. Tomorrow, Glenn will di dissect your tests. You better thank me. I'm the one who told him to. I'm just sick of seeing you. Glenn? Oh, we are still in the facility. Reading table. Where you read. At the table. One of them stands out. I've heard that name of Lynn before in this game. The 36th experiment has failed as well. I'm telling you, she's practically just used tissue. Useless, useless demon. We're wasting our time. Calm down, I, I can't work when you're in, work in bed. Go play with your other dolls. Maybe I will. You don't know what? Maybe I will. Bug bookshelf. Are you upset? No, of course not. You look like you're deep in thought. You're the one who did this to her, after all. Glenn, back off. <laughs> if I'm correct, you're getting yourself into a messy situation. I'll be fine. It's locked. Locked. Okay, we also lost our inventory last time. Torture with a person for a brain for a head. Okay. Yeah, I'm not interacting with that. Psst! Oh, hey! Over here. Oh, human. I see. Strange. How'd you make it all the way in here? Uh, well, no matter. This is an idea, but it'll do, I suppose. Who are you? I do not have a name. What was that? Miss Knives is ro- Knives is- <laughs> Miss Knives is roaming around. Miss Knives? I think I've met her. Yes, I saw that. You really brought out the crazy in her. I didn't 
exactly do anything when you find a way out of this place. I'm looking for a cursed door. Of course. You have a common goal. To avoid wandering aimlessly until you get killed. I'll help you. Alright. Why don't you have a name? I wasn't given one. When you live in sol a solitary life, you don't need a name. You're free to call me what you wish. You humans seem to want to name everything. I'll call you Spider. That's a terrible name. <laughs> Do you call other humans human? How do I get out of here? There are several strange objects scattered around the place. After you find them, you need to figure out how to unseal them. Well, I know what I'm looking for. You'll know when you see it. Okay. By the way, I came here with a lot of things, but they're all gone. If I don't get them back, don't worry, you'll have, to have them if you get out of here. I hear her coming. You need to hide. Huh? Go now. Touch it? Yes! A bunch of red powder sticks to your finger. You wipe it off. I got some red powder on my finger. You're back. Any clues? Yeah, I spoke to a spider. I spoke to a spider? The spider big back? Yeah? Okay, that's kinda intriguing. Tell me what to do to get out of here. Really? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Alright! I'll just be here, hanging out. Okay, I think there's. this is the only way I can go. Large painting, it seems to be missing both eyes. Oh, hello. I can't sneak. I hope they don't have like a routine. An old gramophone. Play with tags attached. It says, requires medium light, provide alcohol twice daily to keep it leaves moist. Water is a valid substitute, as it can't tell the difference. Really? <sighs> One of the plants requires alcohol or water. Empty pot. Play with tag attached. It says, requires dim light. For enriching, give a flower a crown once a month. Oh, hello. Plant with a tag attached it says, requires dim light, read it once a day to avoid irritability, appropriate diet includes meat of various kinds. It says, requires medium light for enrichment and provide music. I'm not gonna do that. The warning said it does not say what the warning is for. Oh, a phone. It's old, but it certainly has a charm to it. Use these flowers. Thank you. Oh, the tag. Aww. I love you. Oh, do nothing. I am not playing music here. Some liquid it seems to be odd. Water. Thank you. Some meat. It's a fire, so it's just a place. Ha! Uh, it's all pretty plant. Bathtub filled with a black liquid. So big you fit like four of me in there. Yeah. <sighs> 
The door is gone. Oh, the door is gone. Okay, and now this explains what we were being used for. A cutting board. Large cauldron. Hey, I'm behind the cauldron. There should be a coin here. P jar, there's something inside that doesn't belong. Take it. That's cool. Green frog. Maybe I can feel that feed this to the plant. Thank you. Now all there is to do is play music. I'm going to do that last. Storage compartment filled with various types of food. There's a key in there as well. That's cool! Love that. It's locked. I'm gonna go save. Hey, little bird! I think opening that door would be a bad idea. So I'm going to Some sort of stew. It's cold and doesn't seem to have been looked after in a long time. Stir it up? Yeah. The fourth blessing. You, you, what did you do to his leg? The black thing sticking out from the stew. Will you take it? Yeah, sure thing. Seems to be part of something bigger. Can't take all of it. this. Oh! It's broken pot where Spire was. I have this, but I don't know how to use it. Can you pick your own lock or something? Sure can. Yeah! Miss Knives! Huh. Can't get us. Get the forever! Okay. Uh, what do I have? I still have the lockpick. Key for something. Small key. Could be for a padlock or something similar. Oh! Ah! 
Doesn't have a keyhole. What? Excuse you. Oops. How do we unlock this one? Oh cool, that's great. Okay. Key fits. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's a trash can, not to be mistaken as, as a bucket. Large basket filled with toys. What's all this? Any remote controlled cars or stuff in there? No. It's oddly specific. But fun. Third blessing. Water provides the best healing. Some kind of black rag here. Yeah. Box on top of the vanity table and uses a combination lock. So drawing on a key on a box. There. Okay. Well, I thought I had it. Painting of a window. Must be stuffy in here without any actual windows. Simple coat hanger. Small bedside table. It's clearly too small specifically, especially for this bed. Small bedside table. Never size bed. This biggest bed is too large even for that demon. Wow, what a luxury. Why are there so many carpets? You think you can handle this? Easy peasy. Boop, boop, boop. Psst. Over here. Where? Over here on the wall. Spider. Spider? Yes. Is that really you? Huh, you actually meant it when you said you talked to a spider. You looked different last time, but it's still basically a spider. Oh, there's two of you now. Well, no matter. Miss Knives discovered my hiding spot. She's not fond of my presence. So she turned me into this. It's pathetic. Dang, she must have crazy powers. Not quite. We both has, must have some time to look around this place by now. Did you figure out anything strange? I mean, aside from everything. Kind of a tall order, pal. Well, the location of this house is strange. Maybe humans are just slow. Hmm. None of what you s you're seeing is real, huh? Miss Knives is a strange case. She created this place out of her own desires. But the house doesn't actually exist. Convenient. Yeah, that makes sense. How convenient. Okay, so then it's an illusion? To an extent, yes. But that's also why I look like this. Miss Knives only sees what she wants to see. So she sees you as a little spider on a wall? It would seem so. I see. Then to escape, you have to break the illusion. No matter who she is, rather who she isn't. That's where those objects you need to collect come in play. You seem to have some sort of connection to her memories. When she find and unseal them all, come back and see me. Is this the unseal room? You soak the rag in the pool. Cold compress. A wet rag. 
The water looks clean. Yeah. Yeah. Something covered with the drape. Yes. The second blessing. You always said you wanted to try watercolor. I believe you. Look at it. It looks like a flat black square. Take it with you. It's too large and heavy to carry around. Okay. Well, now how do I do that? Bookshelf full of books about ping. Should a merchant not be available in your region, it is always possible to create your own painting by mixing pigments with water. There are flowers around. I could probably make some pigments like that. I don't think that's how it works. Painting with two protruding hands expecting something. Looks like I'm placing something on these hands. Hands reject the item. It is irrelevant to them. My mother got worse one day. Father thinks she might die. I don't want mom to die. I brought her a cold comp I brought her a cold compress to lower the fever. Mother always said that water provides the best healing. That night I said a prayer to try to help her. I wished for her to get better. I wished for our family to get back to normal at least. The third blessing came as a surprise to everyone in the village. The morning after my prayer my mother was out of bed and cooking. She said she said she felt much better, even had the strength to go to the market. You see, the cold compress did the job. Clean water is the purest thing we have. Are you sure you should be out of bed? This is the best I've felt in years. The, the doctor said. I'm sure he was just wrong. You know, me, you know medicine all, isn't always entirely accurate. No more than two la days later, some adults knocked at the door. They took my mother. They called her a witch. They claimed she used powers to be get cured of a deadly illness. They said the village needs to be cleansed, and that witch hunts were important for this. The next day, my mother was burned at the stake. Everyone watched and everyone cheered as she died. Slowly, for a sin she did not commit. It was the first time I wished that I couldn't see anymore. Hmm. Bookshelf full of coloring books and children's books. So how do I... Spider's just dangling there. Okay. I might have to go to the, uh, the the place to boil things. The bubbling. Ugh. 
Okay. Our weight. Nope. Yellow painting. Finger paints. I hope that works. Nope. Interesting. I have three jars. Is there one more painting? Like, ah, blue. I wonder what that eyeball is going to be used for. I really am wondering. Also, that painting is scary. Oh. A little bit of a lag there. Oops. Yellow. The masterpiece was complete. The canvas turns into a sketchbook. Oh. That's great. You splattered all over it. Take a look at the sketchbook. It's full of unsettling sketches. It's still pretty talented, though. She's... she's... Ugh. Looks like I can place something on these hands. The second blessing came as a gift. I always met Iris out by the river, and we sat and talked for hours. She told me about the things that I couldn't see, but it was different now. She spoke with such happiness and excitement, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. To celebrate this miracle, I got you something. What? For me? Of course, your eyes work now. It's amazing. We have to. Do we have to celebrate. So I stole this from my family. But shh, don't tell. What? Iris, a sketchbook and paints are so expensive. But how? Why? You always said you wanted to paint. I believe in you. So excited to see what you'll come up with again. I couldn't believe it. My very own sketchbook and watercolors. There were so many things I could paint. Mother was always bedridden. So I made a habit of showing her my paintings. I started with trees and objects. I took a liking to portraits of people. I ha they all have such distinct, beautiful faces. After only two days, I had already made eight portraits. When I flipped to the next page, a different kind of portrait filled the brown paper. It was all painted in black, and it was twisted and scary. I hadn't painted this. I didn't even know who this person or creature was. Every morning after that, I found a new distorted, por new distorted portraits in the pages, but I never remembered painting them. Hmm. Okay. Wet rag. Okay. I remember what one of them was. It was in that bu 
Mobile. This room. Can I just get up there without taking it? No. There's a box here that I can move. large cauldron. A storage compartment. There is one more room that we can explore, but we will most likely die immediately going into it. Little cactus. Pink flowers in your vase. Shelf, nothing interesting. Beautiful night sky. Three moons. Bathtub filled with the black liquid. I guess it's just a wall now. So I guess but it has no signatures. The place. Very of these trinkets. Okay, and there is this place also that we haven't explored. Your where you get locked in, where you are locked in is directly under you. The first blessing. What I saw in the mirror was uglier than I had hoped. There seems to be something strange inside the cage. Okay. Let's not do that. Painting of a lady. Her golden eye stands out. Sure! Run! This way, this way, this way, down. Ah, she's a good I didn't mean to press that. I didn't. I didn't mean that. I'm gonna retry it again, but I'm glad they have a skip option.
Give me your eyes. That scared me. I hate the loud noise. Okay. <laughs> I want to skip it. <sighs> Barely got away. Mind me not to mess with creepy paintings in the future. Okay. So we got two eyes. Let's go back in there. Painting lady is gone. The first blessing. I'm not trusting painting this anymore. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Alright. Let me blue uh there we go. As you look into it, the mirror regains its colors. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I made it. There we go. My life is below average. I've been blind since I was a baby, so my parents thought of abandoning me. A blind child cannot help the family, they said, especially not a girl. But my mother says they loved me so, so much that they wanted to give me a chance. Right now I manage just fine. I do my chores, I go to the market, I help with the, with the vegetable garden. Mother is sick, she, so she's always in bed. The doctor says she might be like this for the rest of her life. Every day I go meet my friend at the riverbank. Iris is always talking excitedly about everything you could find outside of the village. She makes the world sound so bright. We made a deal that when, I, that when we turn 14 we'll run away together and travel the, to mountains and seas. But it was actually fine with a simple life. The bare minimum was enough, as long as I had Iris. If there was one thing I wanted, just to be able to see her. The first blessing changed the course of my life. I couldn't calm my breathing. I woke up one, one morning and I could see. I saw shapes and colors in my parents. I saw broken dining tables. I saw the weeds in the vegetable garden. I saw the chipped cup that I drank from. I saw my wrinkled clothes. Despite not having much, they were the mo they were the most beautiful things I had laid my eyes on. I couldn't say the same about my reflection. Have I always looked like this? Were my eyes always so bland? Was my hair always so dull? My parents gradually grew distant. People in the village stared at me and whispered behind my back. But they seemed to care be seemed scared of me. I always said she's a little nervous around me, but she was really happy that I got my eyesight. She called it a miracle. My parents started avoiding me. When I spoke to them, they always tried to brush me away. The other only times their tired eyes met mine, I only saw hatred in them. Did they always look at me this way? So... Is Miss Knives a human? 
I come from a human upbringing. Okay, so I want to try these eyes. Okay. What do I do with the eyes? Okay. It should be pretty obvious. Let's go through these rooms again. Ah, uh, excuse me! The crow is dead. Aw, oh, crap. The knives lady must have been here. How do you know? In well, my experience, birds don't just combust. That must mean that she knows. That, like, we're gone. Beginning of a window. Yeah, I don't think I would know what the password is. Okay. Something like those cute crows I've seen around. I don't like this one. His head looks like a spoon. She looks like she's made of porcelain. Okay. Someone is tied to a stake with black knives all over the body. The fifth bless- fifth, five! There are so many things a knife can cut through. When you pull out the knife, the rest of them crumbled apart. Someone is tied to the stake. Is there a coin behind here? Mm. Mm -mm. My heart's racing. You heard it move, right? What? Uh... Mm. Hey, what kind of knife is this? After the incident with the boy's leg, the authorities knocked at her door again. Oh, okay. So, I don't think I know what's going on, but okay. My daughter is a witch, they said to my father. We talked about how I hurt that boy, how my mother healed from a fatal illness, and my eyesight came back. They told us both me and my father were accused of witchcraft. That's nonsense, what are you talking about? The whole family needs to be cleansed. Your daughter will be tried for witchcraft and due, and due to your ties with her, you will as be, be as well. Hold on. Wait. You got her wrong. She's not my daughter. I really found her on the streets. She does not share my blood. Father. Take him. No, 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 please. I have nothing to do with this. When the men walked in the house, my father ran, my father ran towards the back door. 
He was frantically bumping into furniture to reach it. Find the girl and burn his body. Or the whole house, it's cursed. My father's blood ran down the hallway like a small river stream. It's seeped into the cracks of the broken floorboards. It was all that boy's fault. The prison cell was cold and dark. There was nobody else there with me, except for the occasional rat. People always said rats are dirty and dangerous. But at that moment I appreciated the company. The adults told me my execution would be the following morning. They said I would be burned in order to purify the village. What does that even mean, purify the village? I was alone with my thoughts for what felt like hours before someone came by. Hey, Iris? Will I get out of here? Um, listen, I'm so sorry. I told my dad about everything. What? No way. I thought if you might really be a witch, he could protect you. Because he knew we were friends. I'm sorry I did this. I know... I didn't know he would kill your dad and... and you. Please. Please take this knife. Please. Please use it before they kill you. You'd be better off if you ended this way. What's happening? Why would you tell me something like this? What's going on? This is horrible. I can't even make a joke in this. I love you. And father said burning is slow and painful. You're better off doing it this way. You're asking me to kill myself? Yes, because I still care about you. Is this what you call care? I didn't know that my vision would get blurry if I cry. We got one more blessing to do, and now I gotta figure out what they did to a boy? So there's the cauldron. I'm pretty sure I have to cut the leg or something. There we go. Human foot. Let's go. Used to belong to someone. Well, it belongs to me now. Mm. Now I'm sure things are going to change around here because I have all the things. Because that's how games work. Yeah, I'm gonna save real quick. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen. Ooh, thank you for the foot. The fourth blessing was something I never wished for. Give it back! How'd you get your hands on such an expensive looking sketchbook, huh? Let's see. Stop, just give it to me. What the heck is this? I flipped through the pages of my sketchbook and the face got aw an awful ghostly white. Is she a witch? What are those? I didn't draw that. Hey, I didn't know you were a witch. I'm not. Pages and pages of creepy drawings. What is this, some kind of curse casting crap? I didn't make them. I don't know where they came from. That's even worse. <laughs> it's the truth. Why didn't they believe me? Stop, what are you doing? Just a filthy witch. I'm reporting you. You won't be needing this. Please don't break it. We won't even need all these colors. Nothing but black. You're never supposed to see anything but darkness anyways. Blind freak. Please stop. Give them back. Oh, poor cry, little crybaby. I'm gonna report you. My father would be so proud I caught my own witch. A little bit of a water break. I'm not a witch. I swear I'm not. No, don't, please. I know I have no expression in my face, but I feel if I put expression in my face, it would diminish the moment. Stop, stop, please. Please stop. What did I do to you? Please stop. 
I hate them. I hate my life. What is- why is this happening to me? Soon enough, the boy dropped the sketchbook. My eyes were focused on the crumpling pages of my sketchbook, hitting the ground. So I didn't see until it- until someone screamed. Ew, what is that noise? Ah! I'm not screaming. The boy's right leg twisted almost 360 degrees as if it was some form of nightmarish witchcraft. Oh! Then it twisted again. Something broke his leg and he fell down writhing in pain. I couldn't understand what I was seeing. Ew. You... What did you do with his leg? Nothing, I didn't even touch him. It hurts. Call someone, we need help. You're a witch. You're a witch. I'll destroy you. You'll be burned. Burn in hell. The adults came and took him away. When I finally lifted my gaze from the dirt below my fingers, Iris was standing in front of me. My heart sank. Did you see what happened? Are, are you alright? I... You didn't do that to his leg, right? No, of course I didn't. Okay. Why are you here? My, I came because my, my parents said I'm not allowed to see you anymore. Okay, so nothing. Alright. So we have all five of the miracles. We don't really know what happens at the end. We just know that she was given the offer to commit suicide. I think there's only one thing to do left. That's to use this well, the small key is still... can still be used for something. But I don't know what. It's locked. There's someone singing from the other side. Or has no keyhole. Okay. Sketchful, okay. Okay, so there is still some more stuff to do. There's something that is locked. Purple flowers in a vase. Give me one second and I'll figure it out. Okay, we're back at Spider. You're done. Good work. What now? Now all these objects need to be burned in the correct order. What's the order? That's for you to figure out. The hands over there might provide a clue. I see. Make sure you have a white way to light the fireplace as well. Oh, that's true. Any places I haven't checked yet? Lastly, this whole thing tends to culminate with candles going out. For if you see any candles, put them out. Understood. Uh, okay. Figure out the order. Um, mirror. Towel. Sketchbook. Foot. Knife. Alright, got it. I'm gonna save. Because this is probably where it's gonna get really scary. Oops. I already can't. I can't sneak.
I hate it. I hate so much. Yeah, okay. Oh boy! That's no good. It's dead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Various paintings of a young girl's are stored here. Six. There's, there shouldn't be six. See, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's only five. Oh, they said I was done. Maybe in reverse order. There isn't supposed to be six. I missed something. Oh no. I'm so scared. Like honestly. terrified. I don't have anything to burn these things with. It's dead. It's dead. Okay, I think there's one place I can go. Hello! Take that.
Uh, actually, you know what? Let, let me go back in there. Fine. You know, I'm starting to exchange my fear for confusion. I've been to every single room in this entire place. You know what, give me a second. I'm gonna look up with that. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was right to do this, but I got the order wrong. There we go. Sketchbook, towel. Foot, knife. Oh, howdy! That's bad. Oh! She didn't kill herself. Oh. Boy, that's horrible. The mirror, sketchbook, okay. the illusion should break apart now, shouldn't it? Too bad, I was starting to like this place. No. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Mm-mm. <coughs> Yummy. Hey, we burned just some of your stuff. Fire. Lilith, again. How? But, but how? How? No, 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 no more. Die. Oh, boss battle? Huh. It's so cool how, why can't you just go away every time I try to be at peace? You ruin everything. <gasps> Oopsies. It takes only two. Okay. Yeah, we try. I love boss battles like this. Oops. Ah, oh god, oh my god, why can't you just give me three chances, like a normal game? Mm. 
We're just gonna learn the route. No, I'm going to beat this. I will retry. Oh, God. I, I was trying to see if I could hold. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Really? Again, the indomitable human spirit. I will win. So far. No, I'll never give up. I'll just learn the attack patterns. No, don't don't worry about it. This is the final boss battle. I can't just skip it. There we go. Doing well. Okay, I gotta move side to side there. This is my Dark Souls, alright. I 
will do this. All right. It's just I can't skip this. Because if I do, I'll be in the middle of out and I can't like move my hands up to to like unpause the episode. So if I pause this, you won't see me again until I finished it. That's basically the same thing as skipping it for you guys. I'm not good at editing. I'm not going to edit this video. This is for fun. I'm having fun. Don't say I'm not having fun. Let's try it again. Great. I'm not even allowed t three chances, like any normal game. Alright, skipping it. I'm skipping it. I'm sure it would have been a great time. Oh, hi. Ew, get away from me. Ew. Oh, I get it. Go up here. Cool, gotcha. Uh, that's a nothing. Yeah, this one. Ooh. Cold compress. Oh my god! No, I'm gonna retry it again. Get away from me. Please. I believe it's cold, uh, the foot next. Foot fetish time. Okay, gotta juke him out. Juke him out! Night time, night time. Got one more time. This way. <sighs> Part two. Electric Kaboo the loo. That's lovely. I love it. Obviously, I'm gonna retry. Okay, I got two health. Oops. Ah, 
I forgot I had to dodge. <laughs> I thought they were in the same spot. Yes, I'm skipping it. I can't have time for this. I beat you. Fair and square. Where am I? I don't have time for all that. She's sad because I'm cheated. There's a piece of paper on the floor. It's titled Sixth Blessing. Yeah, I want to read it. I was tied up in front of the whole village where Iris's father gave a speech. It was about bringing forth a new era, about cleansing impurities, about living in peace. Peace. I thought I already lived in peace. I thought I could keep living in peace next to Iris. Was she, st was she in that crowd too? Was she watching? Would she cry for me? It didn't matter anymore. I was only a sacrificial pawn in this bigger story. How did Mother feel, standing here? Was she relieved to finally be rid of all this injustice? To, not, to finally start being at peace? It didn't matter. Mother and Father were dead. Now, this would be over for me too. The monster standing before me finished his speech. The crowd was cheering. They seemed to agree with his preach. He lit the firewood, and the heat was slowly embracing me. For a moment, it almost felt comfort comforting, but that moment was brief. When the fire reached my legs, the pain became unbearable. The crowd's cheers were slowly drowned out by my own screams. Curse this. Curse this. It hurts. Why must I suffer? This isn't fair. Why would, won't anyone help me? It hurts so much. I hate them. I hate them. How could they cheer for this? How could they be so cruel? I wish they were all dead. I wish they would all suffer. I heard it once in a dream before. Six blessings form a curse. Was I cursed? Because at that moment, I received my sixth blessing. The fire spread incredibly fast in all directions. The flames that had reached my thighs died out, so the fire spread all around me. Everyone was screaming, terrified. Everyone was burning. What happened? Where's Iris? I used the knife she gave me to untie myself. It cut easily. I tried walking, but I couldn't even stand. My legs hurt. They hurt so bad. I looked around, but only saw fire. People were trying to run, but there was no escape. The floor, the houses, everything was on fire. The whole village was covered in a thick smoke. The only place the fire didn't reach was the ground I stood on. I can't move, but I need to make sure Iris is okay. Huh. Make sure Iris is okay? Why should I? It's all going to hell anyway. I sat on the floor holding the knife. My miracle. Is this what came of my miracle? I never asked for this. All this misfortune, it all started after I got my eyesight back. What are these eyes? I don't recognize them. I don't want them. I never wanted them. Not like this. You can have them back. Do you hear me? These are not my eyes. I stabbed and stabbed. I was determined to remove them. After all, if I removed them, things could go back to normal. I could do my chores as usual. I could care for Mother. I could spend my days with Iris. It felt, it felt so good. It felt so relieving. I stabbed until I stopped seeing. Until I stopped worrying. Until I stopped feeling. I stopped moving. I think in my final moments I laughed. I laughed at how my life turned out. Six blessings form a curse. Six blessings form a curse. Yes. Because cursed is the only way I could describe this pathetic life.
curse is lifted, I guess. God! What? And we're back in the facility! Welcome back. Ugh. How long have I been out? 14 minutes. That's creepy. You shouldn't watch people sleep. I actually looked around first, I swear. Door's right down the hall, see? I see. You're pretty cozy back there, you know? You must be really good at dodging knives. Actually, no! <laughs> Believe it or not. Thanks. You sure you're not doing yourself? No. This is a joke, you know. So is it a dead end? Yep. I see. Just as Rune said. You sound disappointed. Well, some of you are up for near, more near-death experiences. I just haven't solved anything yet. I didn't find Red. I didn't even find the lighthouse. One of the things I set out to do. What about the things I set out to do? Huh? I just wanted to save Owie! I'm calm. I'm calm. Just my best friend Owie died during this. Like, they're definitely dead. You got time. You're not dead yet. That has to count for something, right? I guess there's no helping it. What objective do I have? Found 13 coins. That's awesome. There should be a cursed door that leads somewhere deep. Okay. Is that Miss Knives? Is that what she actually looks like? Whoa. It looks like a used napkin. We did see that description. I want to talk to her. She's crying. How long has she been locked up in here? I don't know. I'm sorry for disturbing you. Well dang, don't give me the, this person's backstory and make me feel bad for feeling bad about them. An old crusty pillow. Is that it? No recipe, no. It's a bit... Don't give me this, like, five hour long story about this person and then don't resolve it and then you just see them lying there on the floor crying and you want me to just leave you want me to go just leave them here I'll leave her cage open I guess crayons and children's drawing uh, I'm sorry Miss Knives small toy Is that a four? Okay. okay, I'll go. Jeez. The nomination G8 potential questionable training interrupted. Requesting installation of anti distortion field. What's that? High potential high training ongoing. Oh, hey, spider. You're spider? Good work back there. Didn't think you'd actually do it. Feels good to see this place again. How's this good? You're locked up. I don't need much to be content. My cell neighbor keeps me entertained. Me, Miss Knives? Are you surprised? Well, kind of. She's seen better days. But she'll be fine. She's just like a spider. After a little while, she'll make a new web and entangle everyone in it again. I'm curious to see what it will look, look like next time. Huh. I see. Besides, she does get a visitor every so often. Really? An intriguing one by the name of Red. Don't look so excited. Red won't be back here anytime soon. I see. Is Red the lighthouse person? Yeah. Ah, oh, dang. Interesting. If the lighthouse is what you're searching for, perhaps this is of use to you. 
Yeah. Three of them. Is this a doorknob to the lighthouse? What remains of it? I see. Thank you, I appreciate it, even if it's broken. We consider our debt settled. Okay. Bye. Apparently there's something called like a true ending. Here it is. I suppose these cursed doors must be fairly common. I like common, and they kind of suck. Sometimes you get stuck with no way back. I see. So it's a dead end after all, since there's no doorknobs here. Looks like it. There's got to be a coin behind here. Yes! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to check the opposite direction. And who might you be? A dead primal. It's dead? Good riddance. Okay. Well, I guess that. Wait. Can Rune fix this? Oh, it's another dead primal. Oh, hi, bunny! Is that toy always there? What is it, a bear or something? It's a rabbit. Because that's what I think it's trying to be. It's an abomination. Got no legs. Hey, um, it's all mismatched. I don't think you should touch. Hi, bit. Oh. There you are. Finished cleaning yet? The heck you got in your mouth? Spit it out. Don't make me say it twice. I think we died. Good girl. Oh, is that us? Oh, the heck is this? I can't even tell you more. You always make such a mess out of your food. Can you eat? I can't eat this crap. You can have it back. But hurry up! I'm leaving without, or I'm leaving without you. Heck, this place still gives me the creeps. Okay. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Bye-bye, Miss Knives. Ah, oh, nose itchy. Bye-bye, Spider. I guess it's finally time to use this. garden with a single door in the middle. This is it. Just need to make a lily and place it in the vase, right? Say, um, for that. I wanted to talk to you about something. It's about that list. What list? Your to-do list before you die? Oh, that. I was thinking about it. Why don't you make a new list? Instead of a list of things to do before you die, why don't you make a list of things you do once you get fixed? Starting with treating me to some macarons. That way you'll have something to look forward to. I'm not sure what to say in a situation like this. You don't need to say anything. I just think it would suck if you gave up. Why? Why? Well, because I don't know. Today was fun. Fun? Yeah, everything was really exciting, don't you think? We almost died. Yeah. This guy's. This guy gets it. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, well, we made it, didn't we? We did die. Dozens of times. I guess that's true. Anyways, let's hurry. It's not good to stay in this room for too long. Alright then. First take the real lily from the vase. And make a paper lily from my letter. 
Find out the place back where the lily was. Seems like it worked. You don't seem very impressed. I suppose with everything that's happened so far, this is just another puzzle. Puzzle, huh? The door's open. A white light is coming through. Go through the door? Yes. Is he gonna come with me? I think he should come with me. There's no other way to get out of this place. Well, this is it. So, uh, see you on the other side? Yeah. See ya. Okay, cool. Oh, it was the true ending. Okay. <laughs> oh, this was amazing. I love this. I can't wait for the rest of the chapters to come out. Um, oh, this was so fun. I thought it was going to be over last episode, but okay. I'm back. Those things back there, cat. Any sales? You've been giving our merchandise away for free again, haven't you? Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't really. What am I gonna do with you? I didn't really change much. Ah, oh, God. I love this game so much. I believe it or not, because you guys are gonna see this like one upload every so often every other day i i completed this game in uh this the, the one day <laughs> it took me about six hours i've been playing this game for six hours and i am tired so thank you guys so much for watching this if you've been watching it uh yeah, see you in chapter two. God, I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> uh, we're saving the game? Uh, okay. Uh, congratulations for getting this far in papers, Lily's story. Thank you so much for your support and enthusiasm for this little world we've created. Please don't hesitate to leave a review if you have the time. It helps immensely. We're still only two idiots making this game, so if you want to support future developments, please consider purchasing the starter pack. My rating of this game. It is really well made. Um, minus points because I couldn't save Owie. That, I know that's a me problem, but I'm blaming the developers for that. Uh, <laughs> But actually, this was a really great game, and I can't wait to see how the story progresses in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and this series. If you enjoyed it, please like, button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new here. Make sure to ring the notification bell to be notified of new upcoming videos. It helps out a lot, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a different series. Love you guys. Bye!